So let's begin. And we do have the Strength and the Empress, Taurus, Libra and Leo energy. But this is about a very strong bond, a very strong family with um, somebody. The Empress is the energy of creation, the energies of uh, family, fertility, kids. Um, and I feel Scorpio was staying strong here. Uh, while the whole world is falling apart, Four of Wands in reverse is the energy of an uprooted family, something that doesn't um, function properly. It's the energy of home being kind of, um, right, pulled out of its, um, of its roots. And, um, and now the hierophant in reverse. We might be falling out of a commitment of a relationship, but we deal with the situation from a place of strength, a place of taming ourselves, being on our best behavior, doing the work, eight of wands, and the strength, which is still number eight. For some of you, eight might be very important. Yeah. What else? Strength and the seven of wands in reverse, right? I hope you will not give up. Somebody here has the energy of, I will stop fighting. Uh, but can also be, I will stop uh, being an obstacle, right, to the universe. Because sometimes we fight and we defend and we, when actually the universe has a message for us. So we do have the lovers in reverse, um, Gemini energy and the king of wands um, in reverse and the knight of pentacles. I don't know if this connection is less sensual, less sexual and became more like a friendship of some sort. It has a strong energy of um, a falling out of, um, of a bond of some sort, but still the friendship is strong, the desire to build together. The Knight of Pentacles, the method, right? The dedication, the detail to this connection is still there. You probably pay attention to them. They pay attention to you. It has a strong desire to, you know, move on. But when it comes to love, we might be a little bit... Um, I, don't, I don't feel disconnected, but I feel like the passion might be lost, right? It might be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So Scorpio, past energy is on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords, right? We know we disconnect and nobody does anything. And four of ones again. Might be a marriage I'm picking up, a relationship that is... Um, at odds on the rocks and it's not with whiskey um so scorpio what do we have in the past nine of cups and the ace of wands kind of feel like you know the uh, physical bond was amazing and we have happiness nine of cups is the energy of wish fulfillment is the energy of they are the best this is the energy of happiness and um you know having moments of uh, being close to the blissful life we always wanted and with the Ace of Wands, tons of desire uh, for this person, right? A lot of fire and a lot of emotions. Your energy, right? With the Nine of Cups. And the fire uh, was, um, you know, they might be a fire sign. And guess what? Two of Cups and the Ace of Wands, both of them in Reapers. And they have the Ace of Wands. The, the difference is yours is up right there, is in reverse. I kind of feel they disconnected. They might have um, become cold. Right? Two of Cups in reverse is the energy of I still have emotions, I still love Scorpio, but I am disconnecting, I'm in my world, I need my distance. And um, and the Ace of Wands, maybe, you know, the physical bond again became, it started very passionately. And uh, maybe with time it um, got changed in some way, right? With the Ace of Wands. And, um, and we didn't have the same emotions, right? We didn't, we... Uh, we were no longer feeling kind from their side um, or they this is their energy this is how they felt right that we were losing the bond and the love and the body mind and soul kind of connection that we once had and they became less and less passionate about 
Um, Six of Swords, mutual energies between the two of you and the Palace of Wands. It's kind of the fire went off, was turned off. And Six of Swords is the energy of um, tormented waters, is the energy of emotional detachment. It's the energy of walking away after the Five of Swords, right? We had conflicts, we had disagreements, it became, um, it became overwhelming. Um, turned off the passion that once it's kind of like that type of connection where we have so much passion and sometimes it's channeled towards a very um you know um passionate physical bond and when it became a fight we had to kind of uh, move away six of swords is the energy of walking away from this connection um so that we can um gather the strength again right so where are we right now? We do have the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Fool. Um, Scorpio, let's not make some, um, you know, um, quick uh, moves and quick decisions at this time. I feel that you want to open up. Nine of Wands in reverse is the energy of I'm still hurt, but I believe that if I open up, if I meet them halfway, um, you know, it might... Um, you know, it might ease a little bit this connection, but we also have the full in reverse, kind of like the universe saying, don't make uh, important decisions just yet. Um, don't take impulsive decisions, you know, um, looking for a new beginning just yet. Maybe it's not, um, you know, uh, the best idea this time. And if we can um, just a little bit hold our horses here. And nine of wands in reverse, right? We are still hurt. We are still hurt. And it's the energy of perseverance. But, um, you know, kind of like starting a new beginning right now might not be something that it's, um, that's helping you. And um, isn't it interesting? They also have the nine of wands. It's, the mirroring is just crazy. Ace of wands, ace of wands, nine of wands, nine of wands, right? Both of you exhibiting the same type of energy. And full in reverse is the judgment in reverse. It's just crazy, the mirroring, in a sense that the full is reckless in reverse is reckless energy, impulsive, you know. Judgment in reverse is not using their better judgment because they are hurt, you know, nine of wands. They are hurt, they want to protect themselves, but the way they do, it's kind of um, awkward, right? Uh, but it's the best way they know at this time um, to manage the situation, right? I mean, they are too hurt to think straight. Uh, that's energy. And uh, Nine of Wands is, of course, standing their ground, but it is also the energy of, even if I'm hurt, I still keep going and I believe in this. Um, but again, whatever they've done, it's kind of like Scorpio, the universe, letting you know whatever they've done, it was a lack of judgment because they were hurt, you know? Mutual energies between the two of you, Five of Swords and the Palace of Swords in reverse. You'll have to stop fighting, Scorpio, with this person. Um, because both of you, I, and I so understand the dynamic and I'm so not in judgment with this one. But sometimes we get into dynamics with people and we surprise ourselves, right? Usually we are so like, you know, we stay put and we we. we don't lose our reason in, in in this situation, right? But sometimes we meet people and we have this dynamic and we get into, we give it to that type of dynamic where they really find all our red buttons, right? And they push them all at once, so. And I feel full in reverse, the full in reverse, the judgment in reverse. I feel that you act, they react, they react, you act, right? Or they act, you react. And, um, and that's not good and we get into fights and I feel the situation right now where we disconnect lovers in reverse, two of cups in reverse, especially the person you are dealing with, they might be a fire sign, they might exhibit the qualities of a fire sign. We have the king of wands, the palace of wands, twice the ace of wands, nine of wands on your side, nine of wands on their side. So that is a lot of fire and let's make sure we, we don't mismanage right whatever that fire and however that fire is kind of dealt with when we get into conflict okay i'm just saying you know uh throwing it out there see if it sticks right <laughs> um the energy coming your way the outcome possible outcome of this ace of swords and the six of wands you know what this is i mean the universe is just so clear 
You win if you stay silent. Ace of Swords in reverse is not talking. If we don't have something to say that is very important, if our ideas are not fully formed, um, if we don't know, if we don't know exactly how to say something or how to pass an idea across right to the other person, we are winning if we uh, buy some time. Ace of Swords in reverse, right? With the Six of Wands. Silence is gold. That's another, you know, we stay silent till the ideas are pretty clear and pretty formed in our head. Now this person of yours, Scorpio, Ten of Wands in reverse and the Page of Cups, emotionally exhausted and wanting to put the burdens down. That is the Ten of Wands. Uh, feeling responsible, feeling that they are working a lot in this connection. It started with the Ace of Wands, they are at Nine of Wands and they move on towards the Ten of Wands. It is unbearable for them and it's emotionally draining, page of, um, page of cups in reverse. It is also the energy here, for some of you Scorpio, you might be dealing with somebody who is unapologetic about doing something that will release them and make uh, them a little bit more at ease at this time in November. Mutual energies between the two of you, the Emperor, Aries energy and the Five of Pentacles, right? separation rejection and the emperor is the energy of having a plan taking control coming from a place of um you know of power of strength of decision of gathering data and saying you know what i have a conclusion i thought about it and my conclusion is five of pentacles some food for thought <clears throat> Some food for thought, Scorpio, because we do have the Two of Cups here. We know that is love. We do have twice the Ace of Wands. We know that is physical attraction. And at some point, we've made together beautiful decisions and we had new beginnings. We had, um, you know, a leap of faith. And um, But then we go back to fights, right? And conflict. And it's, I, I feel because of pride and, and we rush into, you know, the full and the judgment in reverse. It's all about rushing towards something. Um, so yeah, we need to be very cautious, right? We need to be very cautious, but the mirroring is crazy. The way you feel is the way they feel, right? What you do is exactly their way of answering, right? On With the same energy. Okay, perfect. Now let's... Um, Let's ask for some guidance. Let's see. And the question is, yay or nay? So we do have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So that is something about the way you've been uh, raised. They've been raised. That is something about spirituality and religion. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Let your friends help you, Scorpio. And bottom of the deck, free yourself. So religious factors, there's something about, again, religion, spirituality that is interfering. And it is safe for you to free yourself, ask for help, free yourself and open up to love again. Okay. Well, let's see what other guidance is there for us. So Scorpio, you are limitless. You can do anything you choose and I feel it goes with free yourself. You are limitless, don't be afraid. If you are trapped in a connection, the universe is saying now you have to free yourself and trust yourself that you have enough, you are enough. And manifestation. You need a new plan, you need a new beginning, you need a new... Um, you know, your time of visualizations of the, of, of the future. I love the magician energy, by the way. We do have connection. It is safe for you to love and connection. It's okay to look for and ask for and open up to a love connection with somebody else. And we do have worthiness, right? You are worthy of a connection that is divine, that is magic, magical, I'm going to say, because it has the magician and you are limitless and bottom of the deck inner peace. Okay. 
um, Pisces. Uh, why do I say Pisces? Maybe you are you connect with the Pisces, with the Pisces. Um, hey, inner peace. Somebody here needs peace of mind and six of swords. Um, you know, was the um, was the energy at the core of the reading, right? Five of Pentacles. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flowers. I feel somebody, um, Scorpio, I feel it's kind of like the universe is saying, you know, we are fighting too much. We disagree too much. Um, you know, we are defensive about a little bit hurt. We should step back and manifest into existence a new chapter. We do have pride. So uh, we need to work on our pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So we are not, right? Um, we are not better or worse than other people. We are just walking a different path. So we do have worthiness and pride. Okay. What else? We have surrender resentment and we have connection. Probably some of you still hold grudges against this person. The connection that you had, the loyalty and the love that you gave to this person. Um, so Scorpio, holding on to resentment only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. I feel that the universe is asking you to move on and to open up to new love, to open up to connection, to the magic of possibilities. And we have love, manifestation, and love. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. You are guided towards love, new love, Scorpio, here. We do have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. And it's combined with you are limitless. You can do anything you choose because you are never alone. Bottom of the deck, we do have guilt, inner peace, and guilt. Somebody here is tormented by a sense of guilt, a sense of having abandoned something for something else, having had to change something for something else. So I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yeah, I know, right? We let go of guilt. Whatever we've done, it was a decision. It was with, uh, to the best of your abilities with the, the knowledge you had at that time, at that moment. So no guilt for that. It was a, it was your choice, your path, your journey, right? General guidance, expect miracles. I love this Scorpio because you have manifestation love and now you have expect miracles. Connection, manifestation and love. I feel there is a strong message here for somebody. As soon as you surrender resentment, you find your inner peace. You know that you are not alone. You free yourself, then you'll be able to connect. To manifest a connection with somebody from a place of worthiness from a place of um, equal give and take right expect miracles remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back again you are not alone for for my scorpios out there actually feeling lonely the universe is saying spirit has your back you are not alone we do have bountiful nature. Somebody needs to spend time outside. And we have spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and remind you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness. Somebody here needs to spend time outside to ground themselves. Bottom of the deck, life force. Express your driving passion, and that's so the energy of a Scorpio. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. So yeah, I know. Time for new beginnings, I feel. Time for new manifestations here. Um, so Scorpio, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.